Hey everyone, this is Joe Hinches with Beyond the Chart, and this is my first educational video, first of many to come. The first topic that we're going to talk about is what is the average true range, ATR. You hear me talk about it for stops and uh, a lot of other things, so let's get into it right here. This is a definition from an Investopedia, okay? Uh, it's a measure of volatility first introduced by Wells Wilder in his book, New Concepts and Technical Trading Systems. I think I actually came across it in uh, some of the stuff I was reading from uh, Linda Ratchke. Uh, it is the greatest of the following three components. You measure the current high minus the current low, the absolute value of the current high less the previous close, the absolute value of the current low less the previous close. We'll show you exactly how that works in just a second. And then what you do is you take, uh, he used 14 days to create a 14 day average true range. Okay, that calculates the true range then you create a 14 day. I use 10 days because my primary time frame is 10 days in terms of the things I like to look at. Okay, so now let's take a look at, uh, this is Facebook, and this is December 27th bar is what we're gonna focus on here, okay? Uh, now, I like to use candlesticks, you've seen me use that in all, a lot of my charts, but it's great visual, but for this these purposes, let's look at the high, low, close, and, uh, and it might help a little bit better. Um, Okay, so the first calculation is the high minus the low today, okay? So that's 57.68 minus 55.25 equals 2.43. Next one is taking the prior close of 57.73 minus 57.68 equals 0 0.05. The third one is to take the prior close again, 57.73 minus 55.25 equals 2.48. And you can clearly see that in this case, this calculation is actually greater than the high minus the low today. Okay, so this is what they consider to be the true range calculation for today, the, the true range. Now, when you look at, um, uh, let me uh, get out of this mode here. When you look at this bar, I'll hover over this, look at the far left in my box, and you'll see ATR, okay? The third one from the bottom, third line, 1.807. That is the 10-day average true range uh, as of this bar. Now, you can see that as we move out, yesterday's trading, it's dropped down 1.75. We'll round it 1.76, okay? This is the 10-day average true range. So we use this as a measure of volatility. Uh, it can tell you how volatile the stock's being, the greater the average true range, uh, the higher the volatility, and it goes into the calculations for this Keltner channel that we use here. The, Kel the um, Keltner channels are based on a two and a half times the average true range. We'll talk about how all that works here in another video. But that is the quick and dirty on the average true range. I hope that helps. Thanks so much for stopping by. This has been Joe for Beyond the Chart.